Here we go, night number two of the 2021 WWE Draft. Here we go, Adam Pearce and Sonya Deville on stage. We already know that Becky Lynch is going to Raw, so the SmackDown Women's Champion on Raw and the Raw Women's Champion on SmackDown. Here we go, are the rules the same? I believe they will be. Becky Lynch, obviously just confirming it now. Becky Lynch, the SmackDown Women's Champion, going over to Raw. As I said in the previous reaction video, watching SmackDown, I was pretty sure that Becky was going to go over to Raw. Here we go, second pick. We don't know this one. Oh, okay, the Usos. The Usos staying on SmackDown, so that gets Paul Heyman out of trouble with Roman Reigns. Reigns snapping at Heyman, making him cry on SmackDown, saying, you know, you better make sure that the Usos stay on SmackDown. And it's great to see them be second draft picks. The first actual draft picks for SmackDown on night two of the draft, which is great to see. Paul Heyman is just thanking the Lord above <laughs> that the Usos are on SmackDown. Here we go, next pick for Raw. Bobby Lashley staying on Monday nights. Okay, that's fair enough. The Almighty staying on Raw. WWE really need to try and equal out these rosters now. By Bobby Lashley staying on Raw, they can do that. Obviously, losing Drew was a big, a big hit. Drew going over to SmackDown. But they've gained Edge. You know, they've gained other talent. And I'm sure they're going to gain some good ones here tonight. SmackDown going, Sasha Banks, okay, so she hasn't moved either, Sasha Banks staying on Friday Night SmackDown, I expected that one to be honest, so the previous two haven't changed, or the previous three haven't changed, sorry, come on, I want to see someone go elsewhere, but I think that's it for round one, it is, okay, right, I'll be back for round two, here we go, we're back for round number two of the 2021 WWE Draft. Okay, okay, that makes sense. So after Crown Jewel is when these are going to take place. So that means we could see titles changing hands, like Becky losing the belt, for example. Who's Raw picking? Oh, Seth Rollins to Raw. Okay, Seth Rollins is going to Raw, I guess. The Monday night... Visionary? <laughs> yeah, Seth Rollins is on Raw. Okay, that's a, that's, a, that's a big deal right there. That is a big deal right there. Former WWE and Universal Champion Seth freaking Rollins, my favourite wrestler. Who's going to SmackDown then? Shinsuke Nakamura. Oh yeah, Rick Boogs is with him too. Okay, so that's another one. That hasn't changed. Shinsuke Nakamura staying. I can only presume that means that Damian Priest is going to stay on Raw. But then again, obviously, we saw the SmackDown Women's Champion go over to Raw. So, you know, I don't know. I'm, I'm just going to assume Damian Priest is staying. But King Nakamura and Rick Boogs are staying on SmackDown. Who is Raw's next pick? Who's it going to be? Damian Priest, then. Yeah, Damian Priest. Okay. So, neither the United States or Intercontinental Championships are changing brands. Um, you know, the both, fun little fact here, both new versions of them titles, the new actual physical championship belt, uh, have only ever been exclusively for the brands that they are still on. So, when the IC title debuted in 2019, it stayed on SmackDown, that's where it's been. It hasn't gone to Raw yet, but there you go. We're just going to have to wait till next year, I guess. Who's next? Oh, okay. That's a big deal. Sheamus going back over to SmackDown. and I, I didn't actually think about Sheamus at all, to be honest. No offence, buddy. But I, I didn't think about Sheamus. But realistically, what else has he got to do on, on Raw? And hopefully he can go back over to SmackDown and finally win the Intercontinental Championship. He's done everything else. King of the Ring, Royal Rumble, Money in the Bank, all championships. But there we go. That was round two. Sheamus over to SmackDown. I'll be back for round three. Here we go, round number three of the 2021 draft. Here we go. Monday Night Raw again. Who's it going to be? 
AJ Styles and okay, Amos as well. So AJ and Amos, another team that hasn't moved. They're staying on Monday Night Raw. You know, I, I see no reason why they would have gone to SmackDown. They're in the middle of a feud with RK Bro, and you know they're they're on Raw. So AJ and Amos staying on Raw. There we go. Oh, but here we go. Will Amos accept Randy Orton's challenge? Uh, I don't know. It's coming on later on the show, but I'm not, I probably won't react to that. I don't think I'm going to react to anything else other than other than the draft tonight, unless something major happens. But here we go. Next up, SmackDown pick again. Who is it going to be? Shayna Baszler. Okay. Okay, I'm a fan of that. Shayna Baszler going over to SmackDown. She's always been on Raw. So, you know, she's breaking people's arms. Great, you know, we need challenges for the, the SmackDown Women's Championship once Becky inevitably drops the belt and it goes back to SmackDown. They've put Bianca Belair on Raw, but Shayna Baszler on SmackDown, mm, I don't know, I think it's a decent trade. Shayna does deserve a run with the SmackDown Women's Championship, in my opinion. Kevin Owens to Raw! Finally! Thank you! Thank you for splitting him and Corbin up. It's about time. I actually even skipped the match at WWE Live to go buy merchandise because I cannot be asked with this feud anymore. It is so stale. People saying Kevin Owens even looks unhappy. I don't know. I'm glad, glad he's on Raw. Massive Kevin Owens fan. Who's back on SmackDown? NXT pick. It's an NXT pick. Zia Lee! Okay, Zia Lee! Yes, SmackDown Women's Division is getting shaken up. Finally, more people going over to the SmackDown Women's, decision, uh, women's Division. Zia Lee is awesome, and that is great to see her finally moving up to SmackDown. Oh, imagine Zia Lee versus Bianca Bell. Oh, no, Bianca's on Raw now. Okay, Zia Lee and Shayna Baszler. I'll watch it. I'll watch it. But there we go, that was round three. Uh, I think there's actually six rounds tonight, so we're halfway through. But without a shadow of a doubt, this is going very good so far. Hopefully, more to come on this sort of level. But I will see you guys on round number four. Here we go, round number four. Who's the first pick? Going to Raw. The Street Profits are going back to Raw. Okay. Do you know what? I'm finding it funny because basically everyone I saw at the WWE Live Smackdown tour has changed over to Raw. So if that tour happened a month later, I literally wouldn't have seen any of these guys. Rollins, the Street Profits, Becky Lynch and the Street Profits seem to be excited to be back on Monday Night Raw. Which is great because, you know, they're former Smackdown Tag Team Champions, but they haven't really been doing much recently on Smackdown. Send them over to Raw. Challenge RK Bro. Oh, and the Viking Raiders going over to SmackDown. Okay, shaking up the tag division. I'm a big fan of this. Eric and Ibar have literally, unfortunately, done nothing since they returned. And it's great to see them going over to SmackDown. Challenge for the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. Titles they've never actually held. They've been NXT Tag Champs, Raw Tag Champs, but they haven't been SmackDown Tag Champs. So I'm very happy to see the Viking Raiders going over to SmackDown. Who's next? The Brit No! Finn Balor is coming over to Raw! SmackDown has lost Rollins and Balor. Balor's coming over to Raw. I mean, I don't blame them. What else can you do after you just gave us that terrible ending at Extreme Rules? Send Balor back over to Raw. I just hope he doesn't get lost in the shuffle over here because that was one of the main reasons he went over to SmackDown. Final pick of the fourth round. Who's going to SmackDown? Ricochet to SmackDown. He's never been on SmackDown officially. Okay. The land of opportunity has just gained Ricochet. Ricochet, another wrestler that has literally done nothing since 2019, early 2020. So hopefully we can get him in the Intercontinental Championship picture. I'm a big fan of that. Ricochet to SmackDown. But there you go, guys. That was round four. Once again, I will see you all in round number five. Here we go. Time for the fifth round of the WWE Draft 2021. Who is going to Raw? Yes, the day after Crown Jewel, you have told us several times. We understand. Who is it? Karrion Cross staying on Raw. 
Okay, you know, I feel so bad for Karrion Cross. He's lost all momentum, especially with those horrible suspenders that he wears and that Ninja Turtle-esque mask. Karrion Cross, what have they done to you, man? Who's going over to SmackDown? Come on, Sonya, hurry up. Umberto Carrillo and Angel Garza going over to SmackDown. Once again, it's a new tag team. It's another tag team. I think these two are... Are they cousins? I, I, I don't know. I haven't been really keeping up with it. But Angel Garza and Umberto Carrillo going over to SmackDown. Another team to shake up the SmackDown tag team division. And I love a bit of tag team wrestling, so I can't complain. Alexa Bliss on Raw. Okay, that's fair. She hasn't moved. I know apparently she's taking some time off because she's reinventing her gimmick after, obviously, the sad demise of Lily. Um, but Alexa Bliss is staying on Raw. I don't know when we're next going to actually see her on Raw, but she's staying on Raw. Who's next? Who is SmackDown going to take now? This round two of the draft has been mental. Who? Cesaro staying on Friday nights. Okay. Give that man an IC title shot, please. As how good would Cesaro look with the Intercontinental Championship? Just do it, WWE. Imagine Sheamus and Cesaro, the bar, feuding over the IC title. It's meant to be. Let's do it. But there we go. Round five. There's only one round of the draft left. Will something big happen in round number six? I don't know. Let's get right into it. Here we go. The sixth and final round of the draft. Adam Pearce, who's going over to Raw? The last round in the 2021 WWE Draft. Carmella coming over to Raw. Corey Graves is absolutely buzzing. Of course he is. It's his girlfriend. Carmella coming over to Raw. That's interesting. You know, I'm, I like that they are shaking up these women's divisions and the tag divisions because I feel like they have just been sort of the same people for the last year. So switch it up a bit. Give us new feuds. I'm all for it. Who's no, who's going over to SmackDown? Another NXT. Ridge Holland. Ridge Holland. Okay. Okay. I, I thought he would have maybe fitted in more on NXT 2.0. But he's coming over to SmackDown. At the end of the day. As I reiterate. The land of opportunity. Where will Ridge Holland sit? On Friday Night Smackdown, will he be thrown straight into the main event, the mid-card, the lower card? I don't know. We're just going to have to wait and see. But Ridge Holland from NXT coming over to Smackdown. Who's Raw got now? Kurt Angle! No! Okay. It's this new guy. I know he got signed recently, but Gable Stevenson, former NCAA Division I National Champion, Reigning Pan American Continental Champion. I have no idea who he is. I don't even know if he's ever stepped into a wrestling ring in his life. But Gable Stevenson is coming over to Raw. We're just going to have to see how he does. Maybe they'll do a storyline where Kurt Angle has a, like, a son and it turns out to be him. Oh, wait, they've already done that. Who? Sami Zayn is staying on Friday nights. Okay. Sami Zayn on SmackDown. And with that, I believe that's the last actual draft pick of the 2021 WWE Draft. Sami Zayn. Wow. What a draft. There's still going to be wrestlers that are going to go back and forth on Raw Talk and stuff. But I'm not going to react to those. And then, obviously, everyone that hasn't been drafted is a free agent. They can sign with whoever they want. But we have some big names switching brands. Rollins. Balor. Drew McIntyre. What a draft it has been. I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. Stay tuned for more wrestling content and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.